So something that's really unique about London's financial district and really all over the city is that all of the tallest skyscrapers have nicknames, but if you look on a map, it actually has them labeled as those nicknames. It's not just, you know, like casual talk. So right behind me, this is the gherkin because it looks like a gherkin pickle. They're building a new one that they're calling the cheese grater. The walkie talkie is the really long, tall one. So it's just amazing to me that these names are actually on maps and people actually refer to them, not just in a funny, casual way, but that's what the buildings are. London Bridge right now. It's often confused with Tower Bridge over there. This is actually London Bridge and this is actually the site where the Romans first built the bridge when they came to London. So London Bridge has been remodeled and resurfaced and rebuilt a couple of different times. The city has definitely made an effort to preserve it as much as they can. But a lot of times when tourists come here they're kind of like why are you preserving this bridge? Again it's because of the historical aspect not really what it looks like. It is pretty plain when you compare it to Tower Bridge, which is just over there, uh, which is definitely the most beautiful bridge in the city. This is where the Romans first started to build on both sides of the river and really make the city expand. We cross London Bridge to the south side of the river to visit Borough Market, this awesome open air market hall with an array of different food options. As soon as we walked in, we were absolutely slapped in the face with beautiful aromas of breads, cheese, artisan meat, olives, pretty much anything you can imagine for a charcuterie board. So this is a fresh seafood paella. It's got clams, it's got chicken, it's got shrimp. It's just absolutely very authentic. And we're not in Spain yet, but we're cheating a little bit and getting some paella early because this is really delicious. And it's also got some lemon and just the typical spices you're gonna have on a paella. It's so good, so citrusy, just absolutely delicious. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. What is this? It's a squid. How do you know it's a squid? Because I tried it, it tastes like a squid. And so what makes the color yellow? Like, it's all over um, my hand. It's, I know there's uh, paprika in there. Saffron? There's saffron rice. I'm definitely getting options anxiety right now. There's just so many good options. Everything looks delicious. I want to try everything. And the custard is like warm. I was thinking it was gonna be ice cream. Yeah, it's like warm custard. It's delicious. After our eclectic sampling of Borough Market, we headed towards the train station to head east. Yeah. 
we hopped off at London's eastern neighborhood of Greenwich. We wanted to check out a few things, but for one, this incredible view of the city from the park. We also got to stand directly on the Prime Meridian Line, which cuts right through Greenwich. After soaking in some history outside of some of Greenwich's museums, we took a very scenic train ride back to the central city. We ended the night in Chinatown with a couple of delicious bowls of ramen to warm us up after being outside in the cold all day. <laughs> 